channel is this, wherever the fuck I happen to be standing at the moment, baby. My eye! Bitch! And they, you know, don't let the handsome, good looks, and abrasive fucking personality fool ya. I am a huge fucking dork at heart, just like all of us. I hope you dig it. Welcome back to the channel. This is the fire breathing motherfucker. We're here for another edition of Everything Burns. I got a big announcement coming up though. I'm gonna wait till the end of the video for that, so stick around. But before we get started, this one's gonna be a little bit weird. Like I said, I've been teasing this a little bit. I'm back over here in the corner where I did the soup video. I don't know, I guess this is just where I, my weird spot in the house, I don't know. Anyways. Thanks for everybody for watching the videos, subscribing to the channel. I do appreciate it. I really do, man. And if you got a buddy or somebody out there that might dig this, man, make sure and let them know. If you got somebody you don't like and you don't like what I'm doing, then let them know, man. Bring out the inner asshole in us all. Anyways, we're going to count down five weird ones today, man. These ones are, they're not really, I mean... I guess they're kind of guilty pleasures, but they're just kind of weird. But I dig it. So here we go, man. Number five. Cindy Lauper, baby. Cindy Lauper. Yeah, uh, this one's cool. Um, the funny thing about this is, is my neighbor, man, he's a good guy. He was out in his garage one day and he was listening to Bon Jovi. So me, you know, being the asshole that I am, I went over there and I started giving him a hard time. And then a couple weeks later, I got the, the, the 5,000 water cranked up, all the windows open, and I'm blasting some Cindy Lauper. And he's like, what are you doing, man? You're giving me a shit about Bon Jovi, but you're listening to Cindy Lauper. And I'm like, what you don't understand is in my world, Bon Jovi is lame. And Cindy Lauper is a badass motherfucker, man. She can belt it. This is actually a really cool album. The first song, Money Changes Everything, at the end, she just yells out money. And, it, I mean, it's so guttural. I mean, it sounds like metal. Man, she's got a voice. So, anyways, number five, Cindy Lauper. This one's really weird, too. I don't, I think I heard somebody mention this. I heard a song at the grocery store. It's The Weeknd, man. I really dig this album. I, I know he put out some garbage TV show. I don't really follow any, I don't have any of his other albums or any of that, but this one right here, I think it's called After Hours. It's good, man. It's just pure syrup. It should come with a side of hotcakes, man. It's just straight pop. I'm not really a pop guy, but this one's cool, The Weeknd. Number three on my weird list, The Prodigy. I don't even really know what these guys are. I mean, they don't. They got like drum machines and shit, which usually I'm not really down for, but in this case it works, man. No, this is a cool album, Firestarter, you know, fucking instigator, all that kind of shit. And then uh, I really like, uh, I'm like I said, this whole record's cool, but the first uh, track, Smack My Bitch Up, that's a good one, man. You put it in, you turn the stereo up, and then about a minute in, that bass comes in, and the fucking plates in the kitchen start rattling. Good shit. Anyways, here's where we're going to get weird. My boy, Gary Newman. I fucking love this album, man. This is the guy, if you're not familiar, he had a song back in the, here we go, back in the day. But he had a song called Cars. We used to roller skate around the rink to it and bopping and whatever. But anyways, this is a cool album, man. It's all keyboards. It's kind of weird, trippy, but I like it, man. It's just kind of, it's kind of sets a mood. The first song is an instrumental, and then the very first lyric on the whole album is, we're in the burner where they make us grow, and we're frightened by the liquid engineers. I mean, what more can I fucking say? Gary Newman, number two. And my number one pick, this is a CD I've had for a long ass time, Steve Vai, Flex a bull or flex able however the fuck you want to pronounce it man this album is awesome steve i is mainly known as a big shred guy but this album is just weird man 
Of course, it's got the Attitude song on it, which is an awesome song. Amazing guitar. But it's got some other weird stuff, man. There's an acoustic track on here called the Boy Girl Song. Probably my favorite acoustics track of all time. I mean, it's just simple. He's just banging on chords, but you can just hear him just ramming that guitar. Anyways, also, the first song on this album, Little Green Men, to this day, is the one song when I go up to my friend and I'm like, hey, do you want to hear something fucking weird? That's the song I go to. And just to watch the looks on their faces when they turn that thing on and they're like looking at me like, what the fuck is that? Steve by Flexible, baby. That's what it is. Oh, and uh, final note on this one. the sec I think it's the second song. Another instrumental. Really cool. But right in the middle of the song, they stop, and some chick comes in and yells, just go for it. And he wails out the sickest guitar note. It's probably my favorite single guitar note I've ever heard, man. It just wails. It sounds like the guitar is dying, man. I don't know how he gets that sound. But anyways, number one, Steve I. Thanks for checking out the video. I hope we didn't get too weird on you. Me and Maker having a great day. Sun's out. Guns out, rock and roll, baby, heavy metal. Anyways, my big announcement, my new series, a new series coming up soon. I'm going to do it. I'm going to rank my favorite albums of all time. I got it down to 35. So we're going to go 35 to number one, baby, right here. It's a fire-breathing motherfucker. Let's fucking go.